During our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk about something that farmers have to work with, that is cold germination versus warm germination percentages. These are tests that farmers can have run on their seed, but what do they mean? What happens is in a, in a germination lab, uh, they will test seed every year to give farmers confidence that their seed's actually going to grow. One of the tests they run is they'll call a warm germ. And basically they'll put the seed in a, a wet cloth or in some wet sand, uh, depending on what type of test they're running, and they'll have warm and humid conditions. So basically, ideal growing conditions, let's see how many of those seeds actually germinate. And that's pretty nice. If you're planting into ideal conditions, unfortunately, many of the times on the farm we are not planting into ideal conditions. Okay, so that's where this cold germ test could come in handy. And there are a lot of different specs out there, so we'll just talk about one general one that we know of in soybeans. A lot of times they'll, they'll put this in a 50 degree temp for many days, but more commonly than that, they'll have a super high temperature for three days and then they'll do a warm germ test. But the whole point is to find out that, hey, if I put my seed in less than ideal conditions, let's say I've got 45 degree soil temps and I'm planting soybeans that really need probably 53 to 55 degree temps to germinate, um, how well is that seed gonna sit there and survive for a few days until the soil warms up? Well, that's the real challenge with planting seed. You don't know what the weather's going to be later. And that's why farmers wanna run multiple tests. Soybeans are a seed that typically only gets held for one year. So if the seed doesn't go in the ground this spring, farmers would take it to the elevator, sell it, and then just wait for new seed to get harvested next fall. One of the reasons why is on soybean seed, the cold germ tends to get much worse in year two. So the warm germ, where ideal conditions are, it may not change that much on soybeans from one year to the next if you held that seed over for an extra year. But if you hold seed over for an extra year, the cold germ a lot of times really drops off. And if there's any stress, that seed just doesn't have enough energy to, to survive it. What we found in the northern Corn Belt is typically we're looking for soybean seed in year one that's 90% warm germ or above, and a cold germ that's 80% or above. Those are usually considered adequate levels. The second year, if that seed is carried over, we quite commonly see the warm germ on soybeans drop from 90% to 80% and the cold germ to drop from 80% down to 20 or 30%. It's that dramatic. And so our advice to farmers that end up with some carryover soybean seed is always, hey, you gotta make sure with that seed, because chances are it's got a bad cold germ, you have to let that soil warm up, plant it maybe a week or two or three weeks later than normal to make sure that you get the best possible chance for that seed to germinate and live. One last thing I want to comment on here is weeds. Uh, I'll talk to people whether it's about their garden or their farm or their lawn and they'll say, oh man, this weed went to seed. How long will that seed continue to germinate? Will it just be this year or will I have to worry about it for multiple years? Unfortunately, in most cases, it's going to stick around for multiple years. Well, yeah, and just understand, a seed can only germinate one time. But what happens with some of these weed seeds, they get buried or they just go dormant or they don't have the right moisture or whatever. So they don't germinate this year. They don't germinate next year. Some of these seeds might stick around five or 10 years before they go completely bad or before they get the right conditions to germinate. So that's why a lot of times you can keep a field completely weed free for 10 years and you do something wrong out there, you don't put a pre-emerge herbicide out or whatever, and all of a sudden you see some weeds coming up again. So yeah, I mean, they might not have a high germination percentage, but any germination is bad when we start talking about weed seeds. All right, I don't know any farmers running germination tests on their weeds, but they certainly do on the seed that they're going to plant. Farmers will look at what the warm germination is if conditions are ideal. And then they'll also look at a stressful situation at a cold germ test, just to make sure the seed that they are planting they can have confidence in. Well, one of the things you want to have confidence in is your weed control program. We'll talk about controlling this tough weed later in the show.